Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're reviewing Naughty Vegan once again. I'm running a little special this week on Naughty Vegan pies. They're 12 months old or they might even be longer than that. I'm interested to see what they taste like directly from the supermarket. And as you can see, probably this bit of footage, this is where I went to. Yep, Morrison's, and I grabbed myself a few off the shelf. And one of the products I purchased was this one. It is quite clearly a chicken and mushroom pie. Well, in the real world. But unfortunately, they decided to call it two no chick n mushroom pies. Now, quite clearly on the box, it says succulent, no chick chunks, and basically no mushrooms. So what on earth is in this product? Before we move on to the actual frozen pie, let's have a look at the ingredients. And you can freeze frame it now. And there's nutrients. So let's have a look and see what we get in the box. You do get two of them. And this is it, a frozen pie. Okay, it's just a frozen pie with nice foil. Once again, this is some type of short pastry, I guess, with a puff pastry lid, maybe? I don't know. I haven't completely read the instructions on this apart from, but I have read the baking instructions because I'd like to make sure that they are actually right for you guys. To start with, you need to be baking this in an oven for around about 55 minutes, give or take. I say that wisely because each oven does vary. Now, their instructions quite clear, clearly says between 30 and 40 minutes. Mm, no. If you want it raw, I guess it's all full of vegetable stuff anyway, so it's not gonna hurt you if you do get a bit raw, but you do want the pastry baked, don't you? And once again, the temperature for this is around 200, and this all based on a fan-assisted oven. So let's have a look at the baked pie, and there she is. That's the baked pie. Uh, even now, 55 minutes in that base, though it's quite hard, it's still raw, see? So it just proves the point. And that's 55 minutes baking, that was. And they say it ran about 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> hey, gotta be kidding. If you saw that at 30 minutes, it was still white. Needless to say, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna cut it open anyway. You can see what I'm gonna say about the pastry already, but we'll cut them open and have a look. I'm not expecting too much after the sausage roll type thing I had. Oh, do you know what? It actually does look like a chicken and mushroom pie, weirdly enough. So let's have a close up. Oh, you can see all that lashings of gravy stuff in there. And by the way, this is your, basically your corn stuff. You've seen the manufacturer. This is what this white stuff is. This is nothing but that. And it's almost jellified now because obviously this isn't red hot. And you have got something in there. I don't know if there's any mushrooms at all in there. But once again, you can see the pastry, it's raw. It's raw pastry in. Okay, top's nice, bottom's a bit iffy. But nevertheless, so we almost can bet your bottom dollar. The pastry is going to be the same as they always do. Pretty bland and no salt. Bland. Most of us in the country like salt. Companies aren't doing themselves any favor because if you don't like the product, you ain't gonna buy it, are you? So let's go for the full Monty. I'm not enjoying this at all at the moment. I don't like the pastry. I just want more salt in the pastry, but I'll go for it and tell you what I think now. I'm not really sure what flavor you call this. Mm, that's a mushroom. Tell a lie. It was that puffed up corn stuff. No, there it is. That's the corn stuff. To be honest, I'm not really enjoying this. I'm not really sure what flavor this is supposed to be because it doesn't taste of anything to do with a mushroom. There's some little bits of spicy stuff in it, but realistically, it's not doing it for me. And it's not because I'm not a vegan, 
I do know what chicken and mushroom pies taste like, but they have got spicy stuff in there. You can barely taste the mushrooms. There's a lot of something in it. As to what, I don't know, but it's not that pleasant to me. Uh, it has got some hot and spicy stuff in there. That's not bothering me. It's not too greasy in the mouth, neither, which is nice. It's not very nice. I don't know why they bother. If they can't do something right, why? It must be something to do with cutting corners because these day and age, mushrooms are not exactly dear, are they? They're cheap as chips, mushrooms. And you can make a nice sauce up and there's lots of vegetable things. This is just missing some up big time. One thing it's missing is actually the salt. They have actually put a little bit of salt and pepper and different types of things inside in the gravy, but it's not doing it for me. So I'm going to be summing this up very, very easy. Now, it's not as bad as their sausage roll by a long shot. To me, I'm going to say it's a six out of 10. And that's about the stretch of it. Now, if you've tried this product, let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think about it because I know what I think about it. And if you've tried something nice, do put it in the comments below and I'll have a go myself and see what I think and put it on the channel. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video review of Naughty Vegan, No Chicken, and basically No Mushroom. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking lifestyle recipes reviews I am the crazy baker please subscribe and please share laters